was at a friend's house. I had spent the night and her mom yeah. asked us to water the plants. Mm -hmm. Went outside, was watering the plants and a car passed on the way out of the neighborhood. The car pulled back into the driveway. Guy gets out of the car. He is very average looking, mm -hmm. white male, comes straight over to me. He said, I have these pamphlets today. I saw you out here and I wanted to give them to you. When he reaches in to hand me the pamphlets, he put a gun to the right side of my neck and he said, come with me. And I kind of went, stop. And he goes, no, you're gonna come with me. He walks me around to the driver's side of his car, opens the door and he says, get in. I look in the back seat and there's one of those big plastic containers back yeah. there. And I said, where do I go? And he said, get in the container. So I got in the container. He like kind of set the lid on top, got in the car and backed out of the driveway. And so he drove for about 15 minutes, pulled over to the side of the road. And at that point he put a ball gag in my mouth and uh, put restraints on my wrists and my ankles. He told me to scream as loud as I could, and he said, okay, good. And then put the lid all the way on the container, drove for another minute or two before he stopped the car and then lifted the container with me in it, carried it a short way mm. into what I found out was his apartment. So I'm there for 18 hours. He sexually assaulted me multiple times while I was there. Mm -hmm. um, he made me watch the news to see if I was on the news and if anyone missed me. Of course, there was nothing there. I had been missing for 11 hours and I was listed as a runaway. And eventually uh, he restrained me to go to sleep. So I had handcuffs on my wrists and then I had a leg restraint on my right leg that was tied to the foot of the bed. And I always expected that while he was sleeping would be my opportunity to escape. But at that point, he had also made me smoke marijuana with him and then I had a Valium. Yeah. So obviously I fell asleep. And then I woke up maybe seven and he was still asleep. He was mm -hmm. next to me, he's in the bed next to me. And I realized that that was my opportunity. 